hi there so today i'm going to be showing you how to make this hand fan skeleton now what you need to first of all do is get a carton you need to and this i measure is 12 by i think like about seven inches okay then you get a circular plate now i'm going to tell you the diameter now if i measure it now it's going to come to 6.5 inches so reasonably you can use 10 by 10 inches you have your chalk your needle and thread and you have my famous glue now e7000 and then your cane now this cane we're going to measure it so that you will know the measurement of what you need and checking it what we need is 7.5 inches then i'm going to take my plate and i'm going to use my tailor's chalk and i'm going to trace it all the way around now looking at it it means that the cotton what you can use you can just get it by eight it by eight should be perfect if you're using a 6.5 inch um, diameter plate or circular object the next thing i'm going to do is use my scissors i wanted to use that other scissor but i said no it will get a spoiled. so please do not use the scissors you use for cutting your materials to cut cotton if not it would start getting blunt so i make use of this this is the one my kids use for all their craft items so i'm going to be cutting it all the way around ensure you follow it smoothly round so that you get it looking very secular you want to wait till the end of this video because I'm going to tell you something very important you need to know concerning making your hand fan skeleton so don't go off that's why the video is short you'll be able to get through to the end now I have my cane that is already cut in the middle if you do not know how to cut that please do check out this video I, you can see the picture up there and I'll also put the link for you at the end of the video so you can just click it and know what to use to cut it into half like so because that's the same way we made we use that we see, use the same cane then the next thing you get kind of like the midpoint of the circle over there and you push it in like so now if we were just to leave it like this it means after a while the handle can fly out or rather the base the round part can fly out when someone is fanning themselves and you do not want that do you you want to make something that is permanent and can last a lifetime for someone and so what you need to do is you take your needle and thread and you start sewing it in and out across and all the way around anyway you see how I sew it just keep on watching and learning and if you're gaining value from this video so far please do give me a thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed what are you waiting for my dearest just click that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so you get notified when i upload new videos so that you won't miss out on anyone like you know now that i've referred to another video you you don't need to click that video because you already have watched it all right so as i said you ensure that you sew it all the way around and now i'm knotting it like so okay yep 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 it's been knotted and i cut it out yeah okay so that's it so you can see how i'm finding it is very studied it's not bending i would explain very soon and that's what i used to make this hand fan to let me know would you like to have such for your bridesmaids now see the reason your cotton must be as thick as this not a light cotton if it's light it would bend no matter how long before you know it it will start bending and being floppy but if your cotton is thick now this one is 0.5 centimeters thick if it is thick it would stay now if you haven't watched the, that other video before on the other hand fan do check out this next video